Yes, welcome back to next gen blogger and in this video i want to show you how you can combine the movement object the fade out effect and the zoom out effect to create something new out of it in vacc free video editor so i've been playing around this effects for some time and um, i figured out a unique effect which you can create if you um, you know combine all these three effects so without further delay let's get started now, as you can see, I've already imported three demo images in the editor. So this is my first image. This is my second image and this is my third image. And uh, we will apply the movement object, the fade out effect and the zoom out effect to all these three images. All right. Now, before we do that, first of all, let's just shorten the duration of each of my image. So currently the duration of all the three images is five seconds. So let me just shorten the duration from five to two seconds and that's because if the duration is short the effect will look more authentic and will appear more real so i have decreased the duration from five seconds to two seconds of all my images and now i want to place them at a particular position in the timeline so for example currently my second image is placed at 4 seconds 933 milliseconds in the timeline. So let me just place it at 1 second 500 milliseconds so that it kind of overlaps with my first image. And similarly, let me just place my third image at 2 seconds 500 milliseconds so that it overlaps with my second image like this. Now let me just double click on my first image and uh, let me just first of all maybe let me just go to video effects go to transparency select fade out like this and click on ok let me just change the duration from one second 33 millisecond to perfect one second like this now let me just um, apply the zoom effect so let me just go to video effects let me just go to transforms let me just select zoom and let me just click on ok and uh, let me just change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change inside the zoom settings and as you can see i have two values now 100 100 so let me just change this from 100 100 to maybe 80 120 that's it so let me just quickly play the video let's just see how my image is looking up perfect now let me just um, add the movement object so let me just go to add object let me just go to movement let me just click on movement right here and let me just click on ok um, let me just move my image to somewhere right here like this and now let's just play the video from the start once again and see if how my image is looking up perfect but what is happening is um, my image is kind of zooming in instead of zooming out so i guess i need to reverse the values from 80 120 to 120 80 120 80 and now again if i just quickly play the video from the start perfect let me just now quickly um, do the same thing for my second image let me just go to video effects let me just go to transparency um, let me just click on fade out and let me just click on ok change the duration from um, 1 second 33 milliseconds to exact 1 second like this now let me just go to video uh, let me just go to video effects transforms select zoom and click on ok okay this is already set it is already set to um, a linear parameter change and the value is 120 80 
and let me just go to add object movement select movement click on ok and let me just move the image to somewhere right here and again let's just play the video from the start to see the output so this is the first image this is the second image and finally let's repeat the process for the third image as well so let me just go to video effects transparency um, well this is the last image so i don't think we need to add the fade out um, but let's just say let's add the fade out all right so let me just click on ok um, again the fade duration of my fade out effect is one second 33 milliseconds so let me just change that to a proper one second and um, again let me just go to let me just go to video effects let me just go to transforms select zoom and click on ok the options are already set it is already changed to um, a linear parameter change and the value is 120 and 80 and finally let me just go to add object let me just go to movement let me just click on movement and let me just click on ok and let me just move this image to somewhere right somewhere right here and let's now play the um, whole video from the start so let me just take my cursor to the start and let's watch what we have created so this is my first image zooming out fading out second image zooming out fading out and finally third image zooming out and fading out um, along with the movement object so they were moving as well so let me just quickly play this in the preview first image second image finally the third image so that's it guys this is all i wanted to share with you in this video um, what i've really done is i've taken three images and uh, i've applied the movement object fade out effect and the zoom out effect in all the three images and uh, the images are kind of overlapped with each other so the duration of each of my image is two seconds and the second image is placed at exactly one second 500 millisecond in the timeline and the third image is placed at exactly two second 500 millisecond in the timeline so basically the images are overlapped as you can see right here and uh, that's it then you simply apply the movement object the fade out effect and the zoom out effect to create a unique kind of effect in vscc video editor do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching